The instruments signed today were the agreement between the two governments for the establishment of the Bougainville Referendum Commission and the arrangement that this will function under. This was signed by the two chief secretaries and the two electoral commissioners. The establishment of the new commission is seen as a key development towards conducting the referendum. They will oversee the implementation of the conduct of the 11 referendum activities to the deadline. They will also set the actual time and date of the conduct of the referendum. They will also have the role and responsibility in determining the key questions to the eligibility, eligible voters uh, who will vote in the referendum. Chief Secretary Isaac Lupari reiterated that weapons disposal remains a key factor in ensuring the referendum is conducted. By both sides, with the support of the development partner, with the support of our leaders, and I think uh, we know exactly the deadline as stipulated in the uh, peace agreement. And I think uh, we've got uh, one and a half years to see how we can uh, you know, fulfill some of this requirement. Representing the Bougainville government, Vice President Patrick Nisira says they remain committed to this process and says reconciliation processes must continue to accompany weapons disposal. Reconciliation must continue to go hand in hand with weapons because those who are uh, holding on to weapons at the moment also have issues that, outstanding issues that must be dealt with before we, we deal with this weapons, but let, let me assure the government of Papua New Guinea, Bougainville remains committed to reading Bougainville of weapons of war because it's for the benefit of Bougainville billions and it's, we must ensure that we, we provide an environment that is conducive to conducting a free and fair uh, uh, referendum. For the former ABG president who is currently the secretary for the Department of Referendum in the ABG, this milestone provides an opportunity for his department and the task they have before them. That, that independent agency will relieve us from dealing with the neutral in electoral aspects of the referendum and then it now frees a part of my staff and resources to focus on weapons disposal and unification that are very important in the, in the outcome of the referendum. Sarah Aupong, National MTV News.